Hey yo together and very welcome to the Stuck of 2 Crazy Replays today on Cactus Valley Letter Edition with another TVP. As we have spawning in the right bottom position, it is the red Protoss Gimmel. Oh, so cute! Team KX! And he's playing against me, the blue Terran spawning left top position, Alex Sasher. So, prepare for a nice TVP. It will be a bit random, I guess, but that's fine. I'm still I'm still working on my TVP mech, which is so difficult because uh, you can't play mech like you play bio. You can't just throw away units like crazy. And against especially against Protoss, I feel like mech can be very difficult to play. Uh, not because just of the hard counter and the stalker and stuff, no. But because you need to somehow be safe on multiple positions, but you need also to have your army as one big pack. Because that's when mag really gets strong. So finding the balance between spreading out to defend your bases against harassment and have a clumped army or a stacked army, not clumped but stacked, so that it's together, strong, you know, is very difficult to, to figure out. So yeah, that's that's one thing I'm still working on, which is really difficult. I played lately against a rank 25 Grandmaster. He was called Lind, and I defeated him in the first game, also on Cactus Valley, because he played really bad against Mac. And then I played him two times more and he crushed me because he figured out yeah, there is stuff that can work really well against Mac, like hitting on multiple sides, doing blinks, denying bases, being super annoying. And it was really difficult working with the war prism, stuff like that. He, he, he played really well. So I'm not currently on rank 24 Grandmaster level in TVP. But it's good to know that Mac can work against high Grandmaster player. It can work. Uh, if they make huge mistakes or if you play just really good. Uh, so I won because he played really poorly in the first game. I admit it, it wasn't my success, it was his failure which made me win, but that's fine. So here we have the Nexus for Gimme. Uh, quite typical timing. The Reaper. No, no Reaper. There's the Reaper. There's the Weaver Scout this. So the Reaper will turn down there soon, I guess. As soon as I see the Nexus. And his probe goes not cross position. Okay. There we go. Seeing the Nexus. Reaper turns back. I will scout. Okay. Nexus, that's fine. Will I lose the SV? Yes. Oh, without scouting the gas, that was unnecessary. So either you commit or you don't. But that that's the one thing also why uh, pros lose their, their Reaper and such. It's not because they are they are bad with the micro, but sometimes they are indecisive. Do I go in? Oh no, oh yes, and then it dies because it's taking too much damage. And which happens to me also quite a lot. And to professional players as well. So being indecisive can be one of the most uh, yeah heavy mistakes, I would say, out there. Because you are hurting yourself for nothing. Just because you're not sure. Do I commit? Do I not? <laughs> Difficult. Uh, bye bye probe. Dead. It died. So typical setup for me. Widowmines against Oracle. Starport for the Widowmine drop. Uh, Marines there. Oh, getting a probe kill. Or maybe not. Or maybe I do get it. Oh. Oh! Haha! <laughs> survived! So two probe kills so far for me. Which is really good. So Kex Gimme is probing and he's getting blink. Look at that. Blink. Mm, two base blink can be very strong. You can blink in here, here or at the front. I'm not quite sure if you can blink up the main base. Uh, I guess you can. Yeah, you can stand here and should be able to blink up there. Very annoying. Or you can walk here if there's no bunker and then blink up the main. So for now I'm holding the Xelnaga Watchtower. The probe is moving out most likely for a proxy pylon soon, I guess. 
Uh, it wouldn't wonder me. Uh, there are the gateways. Interesting position, but it's unlikely that I scout there. Mm, Blink is being chrono boosted out still. So, and the robotics behind that, which is quite normal. It depends now if he's going up to. So, for now, he's not probing anymore. So, hmm. Is this the optimal uh, saturation for this attack? I don't know. He's getting the robotics behind that, so he wants to have the observer. Which is okay. Oh god, no, I will lose everything there. The Reaper goes down. All those Marines will go down for sure. There's no escape. I just can't try. Uh, Blink is ready, that's a big problem. I can't really trade with that. Uh, I'm shooting him back for now, so will I retreat back home? Yes, I will. And there's the Medivac. No observer ready. Ah, he pulls the probes. Very smart. So... Ah! He might get the Medivac. No boost available. Yeah, there we go. But the Widowmine survives. Okay. Uh, Widowmine got one kill there. This Widowmine still there. Active. So I saw Blink Stalker. Uh, I bought myself a lot of time, which is really helpful. I'm supply block. That's not good at all. I'm not even constructing a supply depot yet. So I need to wait for energy to call down supply, which is really bad. Uh, there we go. Now why? Okay. Uh, this bit of mine. So that one got cleared. Uh, Stalker making his way towards my natural. I will scout it with the marine most likely. It should help me. Yeah, I see all the Stalker. I know he's coming. Uh, I would need to pull some SCVs. There we go. Preemptively pulled SCVs. Of course, it hurts me with the mining time, but as you can see, uh, I'm ahead in work account, so I'm totally fine there. Uh, he tries to commit to this bunker. That's not gonna happen. Too many SCVs, too many Marines here. Loses a Stalker already. Oh, another one gets saved here. Very, very good Blink Micro. Killing all those Marines. And now I pull everything. Uh, there's a tank at the high ground. Good position. But the bunker a bit... Mm, yeah, not too too well placed there. It's just one bunker at the front. And the thing is... Oh, he blinks there. Now I have to pull everything. I have to pull everything. Oh no, that's not good. Losing the mules for nothing. Uh, nope, nope, nope. That's not gonna work. Oh, blinking on top of that. I'm not sure here. There's a Raven. PDE would be ready. Uh, instead I'm... Oh, the auto turret. So I lost a lot of SCVs there. Uh, 18 worker. That's not good for me. So now with the tanks I might stabilize, but... Ooh, that wasn't good at all. The Widowmine's still there. Not doing anything. So, what do we have? Uh, he goes in... Yeah, no, 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 no. Those stalkers are so low. But he didn't lose too many stalker in this game. Uh, okay, six. Uh, but he dealt good damage, if you can see. Very good for him. Oh, the Widowmine! Ooh! How many kills? Oh, five kills! That's very good! And he will clear it now. Okay. Uh, so at least five kills. Payback. That's good. Then that we see finally the third command center thrown down. And we have a five factory production. Some Widowmines just in case he blinks up. Which would completely destroy him. Except, well, if he just blinks one by one. Then this, yeah, he won't lose all stuff at once, but yeah. No, he's retreating back. What, what's that? Ooh. Cool. Very nice. So... Uh, so I'm not sure why the stalker are there. Maybe they are seeking for any drop or anything? Just in case? I guess so. So, forge and a What? A second Twilight Council! LOL! Look at that! <laughs> sure. So he wants... No, there's no need to... For... Maybe he wanted to get Templar Archive. Uh, but that's... Yeah, now you got two Twilight Councils. That's the... Yet now he's getting charged on that one. <laughs> no, he cancels it. Wait, what? Okay, that's very lo that's very funny. Okay. Uh, my upgrades are not rolling. I mean, I'm getting blue flame, which is nice. Do I have... Nope, no drilling claws yet. And no plus one on the way as well. That's not good. Uh, he clears that widow mine. Link bait, very nice. Just shown some micro there and thrown down a nexus, I guess. 
Yep, there we go. Uh, plus one armor is on the way. He still got no... No, he doesn't get charge for his salads. Okay. Uh, second forge on the way. I like that choice. He can afford it. Double forge, that's possible. And I'm finally taking another base here. Finally. Which is so important for me. So with the Widow Mines and the tanks, I should be quite safe. I would love to have like four helmets here. So that I can defend against Blink Stalker, Zealot, Dark Templar. I would need a turret here. Uh, this pylon will go down. Look at the blue flame. Bam. A scan goes down and I see not all too much, to be honest. Not all too much. So he's producing some cannons there, building some cannons. It's nice. I'm getting plus one attack finally as well. This next is not finished yet. A second robotics, which is really helpful against Mac. Double immortal production, very strong. And uh, now he's getting the Templar Archive, so we will see Archon. And there we have Charge. Wow. I completely missed that Charge, didn't I? Uh, but I guess he Chrono boosted it. Uh, I like that his Nexus energy is quite low, so he's using all of that for, oh, uh, for, for Chrono Boost. And that's really one thing you should do as Protoss. Try to, uh, as well as Terran, try to keep your your energy on the orbital and the Nexus low, as well as the Zerg on the Queens. I mean, there are specific scenarios where it's okay to not mule heavily or, or use the energy. Uh, but that's most likely in the later stages of the game. So that Hellion run by gets completely destroyed. Uh, those four Hellions will most likely die as well. Mm, force field? Nope. So I just got a scout off. And that's it. Oh, the Stalker! Yeah, they, they can't attack there. A bit oversaturated the gas is there. Oh, a bit of mine! Carefully. He tries to kill it. Uh, doesn't get it. So... Just reposition them, and that's okay. So those those docker, the upgrades aren't too good for for Gimme here. To be honest, they could be way better at the 17 minute mark. Mine aren't really good as well. Uh, the army is 11 tanks. Well, they Shrek Stalker, but not immortal. The Vidomites are nice, but I would love to see more helmets. So what really helps if you're playing Mag, what really is strong is if you have like four to six medivacs full with blue flame hellions and you drop all of them on top of the army. Uh, you could also try Widow Mine drops. I tried that but it's so difficult because you need you need first of all you need to have all the Widow Mines at one control group then the medivacs on the second one. Load up the Widow Mines in the medivac, boost over the army uh, then with the unload command click on the medivac so that they unload while they are boosting and flying and then you need to spam the hotkey for the control group of the Widow Mines and the hotkey for the Burrow. Which is so damn difficult in a heaten up battle. It's so difficult. And if the Widow Mines don't get their shots off, then they do nothing. And you most likely lose the fight. So it's also not really difficult, but not only very difficult, but also very dangerous. So I'm not gonna try that, I guess I will stick with the Hellbat drops, because the Hellbats are also nice against the Immortal, if you drop on top of them, the Splash, you can take down the shields and then the tanks can shrek through them, it helps. Widow Mines can work as well, but it's very difficult. Uh, look at that, all those Immortal. And High Templar with Storm, so yeah, the Stalker. I got a lot of gas, interestingly. I mean, I'm playing Mac and I got a lot of gas. Oh, Ghost! Ghost is ready. That's good. Another command center going down. That's, that's something. But I'm still playing very defensively. Cloak Banji. Alright, will we see Battlecruiser this game? Uh, two more starports. And the Fusion Core. So Battlecruiser are that unit. There is almost no way for a Protoss to deal with Battlecruiser. Uh, except one way which is I, I I faced that and I lost hard. It was Super Turtle Protoss with Mass Tempest, some High Templar and cannons everywhere. And this is so difficult to deal with. So difficult. Because you can't really engage. Uh, Hellion run by gets deflected again. But it doesn't matter too much. I am still not at 200-200 supply, which is not really good for me. 
No stalker, they are so active the whole game. And they are still alive. I mean, he haven't committed too much to them. Oh! The EMP bait! The EMP bait! <laughs> Lol. I wouldn't say that was a good one, but uh, funny. Very funny. So, but shields are recharging already. There you go. Uh, but cool. Very interesting. So now I'm taking a fourth base. Uh, oh, turret ring is up, so Warpress will have a hard time. Uh, there is no high sec auto tracking. I should get that upgrade as well as the building armor. It's so good. Yeah, he's really annoying with the stalker. And he's taking bases. I, I think you should take maybe more bases. I guess I wanted to take that one. Uh, like there, 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 there. You got the minerals. Just, just take the bases already. So tanks are moving forward. Uh, we'll shoot there. Oh no, you can't, you can't engage there. Oh, those dogs are so low. He tries to find sweet spots. Uh, he wants to get the stalker, not gonna happen, not gonna kill the hell of the lever. So, yeah, that's that. Planetary fortress will be built. Battle cruise operational, finally. And we see the Behemoth reactor. Yamato cannon not researched yet. So, and not queued up yet, that's bad. I need Yamato cannon. Yamato cannon is so good. And we see Stargate. Oh god, a lot of Stargate. So, he is mostly. And the, the, the fleet beacon. Scan goes down, sees nothing, not really anything there. He's denying gas, which is really annoying. Uh, he didn't see the fusion core, no, but that's his transition. He really should saturate the gases, there you go. Okay. Uh, he might trade away his ground ar Oh, so many immortal, look at that. 14 immortal. That's, and, and all those, to oh, he will crush this. No, no way I, I defend that. The planetary fortress is so low, will take huge damage there. And the battle cruiser, no Yamato can the benches, everything out of position. There we go. The splash is good. The MP could land, but ah, no, no way. Ah, uh, he killed that one with ease. Yeah. So there we go. Yamato cannon 3-3 on the way. As well as the Corbett Reactor for the Raven. Okay. Uh, but he still didn't trade away his army. This game goes down. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Uh, he scouts for base. Oh, he will find it. And then he will most likely kill it. That's bad. That's unfortunate. Not a super huge deal, but annoying. I'm wondering why he pulls all his army there. Is this all his army? Yeah, it is. Yeah, most of it. Most of it. Ah, uh, that's not good. You shouldn't do that. There's no need to go there with your whole army. Uh, I'm moving out. Oh, there are a couple of stalker. He might see it. Yeah, he sees it. I know where his army is. He pulls back. And uh, this planetary will fall. It's burning down. No, you should finish it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, fight incoming. Now is something happening. There we go. Uh, colors will fall immediately. Look at that. Taking so much damage there. The Banshees are cloaked. Uh, there are a lot of observer. I need to take them out so the Banshees can rail supreme. Uh, high temp. Whoa, with 1 HP. They are so low. Good scans. Uh, EMP on the Archons. They will go down for sure. Okay, there we go. Feedback and storm. Doesn't matter at all. Yamato cannon not being used. Very good feedbacks here. But there's nothing to shoot up. All those immortal, they do nothing. The tanks are shooting. He's warping with some stalker. But uh, yeah, that's, that's a bit difficult. All those tanks out of position like crazy. Mm. There we go. Immortal can see up there with the help of this observer and they will take out those tanks. Oh, bombs! So, Immortal countered tanks, but if you got that many tanks, then the shields deplete immediately. Uh, Tempests are out, they are dealing massive damage. 44 against Battlecruiser. Battlecruiser are chasing here. Those Immortal, not gonna happen. Yamato cannon on one of Dead Stalker. Okay. Uh, but he's taking a bit of damage. He revealed his Tempest. The problem is they don't have any upgrades whatsoever. So that's really difficult. 
scan goes down and it looks like I don't wanna waste all those tanks yet so I pull back I dealt some damage I traded okay I would say yeah gas wise it's okay minerals doesn't matter too much so the tempests are not as fast as the tanks okay the immortal are as fast as the tanks so they can chase them but not catch them and ooh, he's taking another base that's good he really should get double cybernetics core for double upgrades and he also should get the shield upgrades oh those docker oh most of them die that's a bit unfortunate but he got some tempest and a lot of immortal the problem is immortal are not really good against vikings or raven or anything i got like despite the tank i mean they are the tanks okay but that's it Ooh, and just seven tempest i got a lot of raven no energy for pdd yet but soon there will be yeah almost and then the vikings and the widow mines can kill all that stuff mm, it looks like i want to take another base or oh, just sell it oh no don't attack the salad look at that each drill does one damage Oh god. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. Okay. Mm. Oh, he got a lot of Tempest. Look at that. 13 Tempest against 12 Vikings. But there are 4 Raven. And Raven with energy are pretty. And so many Vitter Mines. Ooh. Yeah, oh, carefully. No, 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 no. Uh, I still. Doesn't I don't have oh <laughs> that was not too good. He lost like half of his stalker, and that with me not having drilling claws. Ah, oh, very good revelation there, or no envision, no revelation, revelation, revelation. Ah, oh. oh, he tried to focus fire the raven, didn't quite catch it. Ah, oh. so I need more PDDs. The widow mines. There are no storms. Ah, uh, no drilling claws, and that's really not helping me. The oracle will go down. Now he has no detection left. Does he? One observer. It's out of position. Wah, wah, wah. One oracle. It's flying there. Okay. Uh, so far, I got no gas left. Uh, finally, I realize I need drilling claws. <laughs> Does he see the vitamins if they are burrows? No. Oh, no. Okay. Ah. Uh, very difficult situation there. Whoopsie. Uh, tries to shoot there. Oh, the ghost. The ghost. With the cloak. There we go. EMPs are massive. Wow. Those EMPs. And now he doesn't have energy for, he, for, for, for revelation. And he's just being chased. He loses all the tempest. He should at least kite or trade a little bit. But he's losing so much. Good storms here. But oh, another. Oh, those snipes. Uh, not too good. I thought that would be better, but oh, losing the raven. The widow mines. Oh, big splash damage. They are killing so much stuff, but I guess he has enough to hold. Uh, there are just six Vikings left against four Tempests. He could win this. Uh, there are tanks. Uh, but with the PDDs, why am I not fighting? PDDs are still there. I could have taken that fight. Uh, for now, I'm pulling back. He's producing more Tempests. Still no upgrades. This is not really good for him. Needs more upgrades, and I need more gas. Oh yeah, that's that's a mistake. Uh, I'm taking that base finally. <laughs> There's still this one immortal which killed the, the orbital and the stalker. Seven kills on that one. Wow, not bad. So it looks like uh, he she should produce more. Uh, he's producing some cannons there at that base. He only has yeah. Is he chrono boosting? No, he's not chrono boosting. His Stargates, that's also a big mistake, I, I think. Uh, and he has no upgrades. Look at the damage the Vikings deal to those Tempest. Uh, the Widow Mines, Brewing! Bam! That wasn't too impressive. Uh, there's a pylon, two pylons. Will I burrow the Widow Mines? No. I'm landing the Vikings, he sees it. He charges and cancels it. Oh, goes back again. Mm, I could need more raven. There are the raven. And ghosts. Scan goes down. Oh, those salads chasing those SUVs. And there we have one little attack here. The salads are die. Oh, look at that animation. That's huge. Bam! 
BAM! <laughs> it's still a die so hardcore. Okay, here we are having some small skirmishes. There are no battle cruiser left for me now. Uh, Vitamines are useless, PDDs might help. Uh, he's not. Uh, he lost the. Oh, I guess he lost the uh, immortal there. Vitamines in good position. Tempest can't engage that and he will lose that one. Yeah, ghost helmets are okay against buildings. Ooh, might kill the raven. Nope, PDD is still strong. And the other Vitamines, he got cannons and storms. Oh, moving through all those storms. Now, all those Vitamines will go down. One good shot here, but yeah, most of the Vitamines died already. Uh, the ghost being revealed here. And uh, taken out, that's not good. Don't lose all the ghosts. No. Uh, that was expensive and unnecessary. I might be able to kill the Nexus, but oh, there are some probes hiding. So, gas wise, it's looking okay for me with the income, but. Those storms, they were really good, really good storms for him, yep. Uh, he might go and kill my base here, uh, which is still not perfectly saturated with the gas, so that's, that's a mistake. Uh, it looks like I tried to hit the south base here on Cactus Valley, but with what? I mean, I got like four helmets, that's it. The rest of the army can't shoot there. Oh! Sell it, run by. Oh no! PDD, one. Uh, feedback. No, just storm, there we go. Uh, very good storms, very good storms. I'm not reacting whatsoever. Wasting all those. Oh, all the Vikings died here. Oh, but the flank! Oh, the High Templar, not really helpful here, but I guess he has just enough to defend. Uh, the ghosts are. Attacking that High Templar. Snipe, snipe. And now he sees it. And kills them, morphs them into an Archon. M m merging. Merging, merging. Uh, yeah. So, let's have a look at the unit lost. That's, <laughs> that's massive. Gas wise, I'm still trading okay. So, who knows? Uh, but the oldest one, little stalker, still chasing around for kills. We'll get some. Oh my god, we'll get a lot of kills. Ah, all the Vitamines! Got out of position. Ah, the Archon taking some hits. And the Archon will die. The Stalker gets killed by this. <laughs> by the SUVs, that's funny. Mm, how many Vikings are there? Not too many, just eight. That's not enough. I need more stuff. Still no upgrades for Gimme. That's, that's massive. So he's trying, he's really trying, but I'm not sure if that will work. So a small counter attack uh, towards that base, but he will be able to take out that fancy fortress. And there's a lot of gas left on that base, so very important for me, basically. Yeah, resonance coil, so strong. Bye bye planetary. There we go. Mm, there's a counter attack. Yeah, he might lose that base. More and more tempests are coming for him. He really needs upgrades. I wonder why he never gets the upgrades. Uh, he got some high Templar. That one very low, 6 HP. The problem with the tempests is they are super slow. On a map that big, it can be very difficult. So he's seeking for any other base, but doesn't know about that one. Need to take bases. Floating Orbital Command, funny as hell. He clears those helmets, most likely, but he's down to 40. Four probes, a lot of worker killed here in units as well. Where's my army? Oh, that's my army. I got some raven. A lot of ghosts. Oh, only four. Okay. And some vikings. So... Uh, I might lose another base here. Yeah. Oh, that salad. Ooh. Oh, god. Taking so much damage there. Uh, a tank might... No. Okay, we will... Ah, uh, he killed that base? Okay. Will the tank be able to kill it? No, I'm just abandoning this base. Scans go down. Ooh! Not too bad, that storm. Oh, ghosts are cloaked. He doesn't see it. EMP! Ooh! The second one misses. He still got feedback, but no storm left. Now there's storm available. Ah, uh, does he storm? Yeah, good storms. PDDs are still there, helping out a lot. 
and he can't fight there because of all the PDDs. Like three MPs, uh, PDDs completely nullify his army. And he tries to find a spot, but as long as the Vikings are in range of the point defense drones, uh, I'm not gonna lose anything there. And he's just moving around. The problem is he's mineral starved. He can't replenish what he's losing there. He's losing everything. I guess that's it. He has thrown away the game, literally, at that moment. Although Salad did nothing. Uh, yeah, he lost too much. His mining is off. Oversaturated there, oversaturated there. It's not looking good. Oh god, losing Vi Raven to cannons. That's not helpful at all. But. Okay, there's a small counter attack, but guess what? Battle Hellions, Hellbats, very good. We'll be able to clean that. And this base falls. Look at the salads. They die, like, wow. So much damage. <laughs> they evaporate. They don't even die, they just disappear. Wow. So he loses his last hope of mining. Uh, there are not enough mineral patches left to mine enough for another Nexus. He can't lift the Nexus as he's not playing Terran. Whoa, I love Salads dying like that. That's so cool. And I guess he will soon see the GG. That's last ditch effort. But he got no mining left. Uh, he will lose that fight for sure. I mean the RPDD is coming down right now. Uh, he got some high Templar. Storms could be massive. Goes for the feedback instead. Storm misses. And now the surround is real. Widermines will burrow underneath the, the Tempest. And with that, Archon's morphing. But that's it. GG. Wow. So not the best game I've played. But uh, it was a long one. A lot of counter-attacks were going on. I lost a lot of bases. Look at that. How many buildings died? There are four planetaries. <laughs> 21 cannons. And a lot of units as well. Impressive. Okay. Good. That was that game. I'm moving on to the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day. And